this is a map over Scandinavia, this is Denmark, this is Norway and this is Sweden. I live down here in Malmö, so I'm gonna ride up here past Gothenburg, uh, on the tunnel under the Oslo Fjord to Seljö, where Classic Honda Club Norway has their annual meeting. Then I'm gonna go over the mountains, up here, north, up here, and the Atlanta Hubs Bay up here, past Trondheim, to my relatives in Vador. I'm gonna stay there for a while, then I'm gonna continue over to Sweden, go down here, here, and to relatives in Stockholm. I'm gonna stay there for a while, then I'm gonna continue down here, And all the way back to Malmö again. It will be about about 4,000 kilometers. <laughs> this is not the 1968 Honda CB450 I rode across Europe on in the summer of 2011. I figured I needed a more modern bike, so in the winter of 2012 I got myself a 1969 Honda CB450 K2. It turned out to be in pretty good condition and only needed new steering stem bearings and a rebuilt starter clutch. When I restored the seat I built in a medical gel pad to make this a stock looking but very comfortable touring seat. I start my journey by riding north through Scania. My goal for the day is to reach somewhere north of Gothenburg.
I stayed the night in a small hostel in the very picturesque seaside resort of Hunnebo Strand, about a hundred kilometers north of Gothenburg. I've now reached Norway and I'm about to ride into the tunnel under the Oslo Fjord. It's 7.3 kilometers long and it was opened in 2000. When you left for another cause and I Remember when we said goodbye When we said goodbye To the broken heart of The first time After arriving to Seljord, I spend the night in a cabin. In the morning, I wake up to these views outside my window. Classic Honda Club Norway couldn't have found a more beautiful place to have their annual meeting. Everybody went for a ride out to have lunch at the famous Dalen Hotel, about 50 kilometers away. Now let's listen to the music of the stock Honda 450 cigar silencers. The president of the Norwegian club had set up a roadblock with his Honda CB750 police bike and snapped a photo of every motorcyclist passing by.
looking for sunshine, not rain. And I know that I'll see you again some way. There are heavy clouds on the neon sky. Magic dreams in the people's eyes. And you and me, we can be anywhere. She was dressed in blue in the summer night. Feel the heat, feeling all right. And you and me, we are dream machine. Cause we can see and we can fly. We know there is no limit but the sky. We had a very tasty lunch in Dalen Hotel and it was a joy to stroll among all the motorcycles parked outside. Here's a Honda CB750 Sandcast that the same owner has ridden 500,000 kilometers since 1969. Way back to the meeting in Seljord, I decided to ride the longer, more scenic route.
Back at the meeting, it was time for the exhibition and to choose what bikes would get trophies. A very difficult decision with so many beautiful bikes. I would like to thank Classic Honda Club Norway for a well-organized meeting and a very enjoyable weekend. You wander rather slowly through the dim and wavy streets you're feeling kind of lonely as the darkness you meet You've been away for such a long time and your day has just begun And in your pocket there's but a dime and you can't see to find the sun The conquest of the red rose has come to a burnout end You're telling yourself it wasn't you who chose the way your life would have been Stop and play, something drives your peace away Never mind the perfect situation Your thumb of a trepidation The conquest of the red rose Has come to a burnt out end You're telling yourself that wasn't you chose The way your life would have been It's time again to get on that train Catch the wind, hang on for a while Let the rain wash away the pain Get me back on the road, back on the road Been away for such a long time And your day has just begun And in your pocket there's but a dime And you can't see to find the sun The conquest of the red rose Has come to a burnt out end You're telling yourself that wasn't you who chose The way your life would have been I am continuing my journey north across the mountains and as you can see I am high above the tree line. I really love riding in Norway. The landscape is beautiful, the roads are great, and it's refreshing that Norway is still so clean and unspoiled that you can stop by the roadside and drink the water.
front of you you can see the Eusterdals Brain Glacier. It's Europe's largest mainline glacier and is 100 kilometers long, 15 kilometers wide and the ice is about 500 meters thick. I've now ridden up to the summit of the mountain Dalsnubba. It's 1476 meters high and down under the cloud cover is Geiranger where all the cruise ships visit. Go! 
going to have a ball Just feeling good Like anyone should Be in a space of me at the Trollstegen vantage point and the beautiful vistas are unfortunately covered by fog so I continue and take the ferry over the long fjord towards the Atlantahavs Bay.
great to finally reach my relatives in Verdor. I haven't been here for almost 30 years, so it's a lot of familiar faces to meet and a lot of catching up to do. One of the days I decide to take a ride and visit the places where I used to stay when I was a kid. This is the farm my grandfather used to own, and I visited here every summer as a kid. Here is the place where I got a huge salmon on the hook when I was a kid. It ripped the line, bait and hook everything from my fishing rod. Then I got the idea to see how far up in the mountains I could go with a motorcycle.
next day we visited the mountain town of Vera. That's where my father's family derives from. This is the spot where my great grandfather made a clearance in the forest and built himself a house. Here we are at the border between Norway and Sweden and as you can see it can sometimes be a bit painful if you like me have one foot in each country. After a great stay with my relatives in Norway it's now time to get back on the road again. I'm riding east towards the Swedish border and I'm going to try to ride the 800 kilometers to Stockholm in one day even if that's a bit much on a vintage bike. Keep your eyes on the yellow center line. When it turns white, we are in Sweden. I've now reached Stockholm and it's great to meet up with relatives I haven't seen in a long time. During my stay I get the time to go for a round trip around Stockholm, past Vaxholm and Gustavsberg.
After my stay in Stockholm, it's time to head back home. And in the evening, after two weeks and 4,000 kilometers, I'm reunited with my family in Malmö. I remember how I used to long for you. I remember how I long for you. Under the 